to close out another beautiful seasonal month together. Today we're going to be mem memory planning. We're going to be putting this layout together and then just chit-chatting about my monthly favorites. And while we go through this planning layout, I would love to hear your monthly favorites so I can see what I need to add to my October seasonal living list for next year. So with that, let's jump to it. Alright sisters, let's close out the month together. Supplies for this video will be some planning tweezers if you like to apply your stickers with tweezers. Your favorite planning pen, this is mine, I will link it down below. It's my favorite for writing on planning paper and my favorite for writing on stickers. And then you're going to want your glam memory dashboards, your glam circles, and your glam washi. Before we get started, I would just like to quick chat about seasonal living. So our 2019 seasonal living list just released actually on Glamoween. It was a very glam Glamoween. And uh, I was thinking back to my October and even though October's the busiest month for us here at Glam HQ and on Team Glam and also November and December, cause you know, it's the holidays and then we're also shipping like crazy little glam elves, which is, you know, such a joy, but you know, it's also remembering to slow down and enjoy the seasonal living. So when seasonal living really ramps up to like its peak, which is October, November, December, in my opinion, is often my kind of least productive month uh, seasonal living wise. Not that it's about being productive, of course, but I couldn't think of another word <laughs> for that. It's the month that I get the least seasonal living in. And I was so excited to see that I got almost all of them except for Taco Day and the Pumpkin Patch, which is uh, uh, an achievement because, you know, those who can't coach. So for me, slowing down and stopping to smell the pumpkin bread is something I need to work on more than anyone, I'm sure. So let's get this party started after that quick little seasonal living pep talk. I'm just more convinced than ever that this way of life makes a difference. And as the years go by, I just see more and more depth and more and more purpose uh, to my days. And that's really what it's all about. Not checking off a to-do list, or so I'm learning. So first we're going to put down our glam circles. Okay, we're done with that sheet. It can go back in the sticker binder. Next, glam washi. Let's see, our big headers here are orange. So what's gonna look great? with orange. I think I will use this plaid here at the top. Next I'm going to do something I haven't done before, which is use the same washi pattern on the top and the bottom. I'm wondering if this will create a bit more of a uniform look. And I think it's fun when things match. And with the orange polka dots we're going to use on the top and the orange here, I think it will really pop. So. I think I'm just going to, let's see. Oh, it kind of looks cute like that. Ooh, let's do that. Let's see if there's enough room with these prompts. Oh, it might be a bit of a tight squeeze. Let's see. Mixing it up. Let's see if it'll fit real quick. We'll put these bottom prompts down first. That. I think that's pretty cute. I wish I could center it, but there's not quite enough room. You could do it if you wanted to move the washi down, but then it won't cover those dotted lines. So if that's a priority, then it might not be exactly what you want to do. I love figuring out new little formatting tricks that make things look cleaner and more uniform or easier. All right, let's put our big October month at the top here. And then I'm gonna finish applying my memory prompts. So I'm just gonna count four down, one, two, three, four, and place this lined up with that top line. Loving, planning, savoring. I tend to put these down in a different order every month. Do you guys put them down in the same order or do you like to switch it up? I feel like I should get like a uniform order going next year. I don't know why. P 
P.S. Did you see our brand new memory dashboards that just released on Blamaween? They're pretty fabulous. They just got a nice little update. Also, can I get a thumbs up for getting everything out so early this year up for you guys to pre-order and I hope it gives you the time that you might want to decide what is going to be best for your planning routine next year in 2019 and there'll be lots more fun discussion to come but I just had the best time on Glamoween releasing our new collection and just cracking up because you guys are so cute and funny. I was on the floor laughing at Miss Paula who is on our digital team meaning she is a paper and glam digital gal so she, instead of the paper she goes digital. We release everything in two mediums both digital and and then you know your traditional paper and so the digital group there's kind of two teams within team digital one that prints and cuts at home and then one that uses digital planners with our stickers, so that's fun. Anyway, she cracked me up because she was saying, <laughs> these little monsters won't start ringing my bell and I'm glamming, and I was just dying laughing. So next I am matching up the memory prompts with these icons that are meant to just go hand in hand, and then they also would work great with some like Core Glam, which is our functional line of stickers. So we have this little remote for watching. It's just so cute and seasonal. And then I like to use this candle for savoring. You could easily use it for learning or whatever you would like. And then this little cross for praying. Oh, I didn't quite leave enough room here. Boo, that's all right. It's pretty darn close. And then the cake for celebrating. Can you guys believe Miss Sunday the Bear turned six on the 12th? My little girl's growing up. I don't necessarily love her birthdays because I don't want her to get older and leave me. <laughs> she is the love of my life, that little girl. This little iPhone for singing. What are you guys listening to this month? I need to know all the details. Get myself a little playlist. And then lastly, this heart. Let's see, where am I missing a heart? Learning, there we go. Okay, our layout is almost complete. Next I'm gonna use some Core Glam to fill in these circles. And then I'm gonna use the little witch hats to just kind of decorate. So uh, open my binder, get out my Core Glam. First it's gonna be Glam Reads. I'm gonna pull out an October book to symbolize how many books I read this month. And uh, I read four books this month. Well, actually it was more like three and a half. So I read Crazy Rich Asians and I read uh, Called It of Darkness, which is Anne Rice's spiritual memoir. And then uh, interview with a vampire for book club and then I read the first half of the Hocus Pocus sequel which was so fun and I loved that the, for the first half of the book which is all I got to that they just kind of narrated the whole movie because there was things that I didn't notice in the movie that they narrated and I was like oh my gosh that's such an interesting detail I hadn't picked up on that was really fun and also I'm excited to see what happens next. I'm gonna kind of set it aside for this year because Glamoween is behind us, but I'm really excited to pick it up next year. And it was just fun to just be like, you know, working on my little house and listening to Hocus Pocus in audio form. I think that might be a recurring tradition. Okay, next I'm going to take this header and put it here to label my memories. I just love that this page records things that you might not otherwise get down, like in your planner, in a journal or whatever. You know, I don't always think to record like what kind of coffee I'm drinking or what, let's see, what else? Like what my favorite thing to eat is or like those little things that just, like they're not the things that off the top of your head you think to record and you think it's always gonna be the same, but life just changes and I feel like I'm always 
learning new things and learning about new things and I love learning along you guys alongside you guys and learning what your favorites are each month too next I'm going to take the gym bag off of gym glam to track how many workouts I got this month and then uh, the Instagram logo from glam blog or glam vlog right here these are in the outlet and I've gotten a couple questions if it's in the outlet does that mean it's being retired or redone um one or the other definitely glam vlog is going to be completely reconfigured and probably not this year but the next year so you're safe to grab it in the outlet I won't be busting out a super sweet update for you this year at least all right and then how many youtube videos i got up the little play symbol here and i usually put my icons at the bottom of the page but i totally forgot and put one at the top so i just decided to roll with it and alternate and then i like to use the remaining witch hats to just decorate these little circles layout is complete and now we can just chit chat favorites and fill it in so I went back through my planner and I counted up how many workouts I got and I got 11 workouts in I will take it for a super busy month and then for books read I'm gonna give myself a 3.5 I am so excited for this month's book club we are reading a movable feast by Ernest Hemingway so I'm excited to start that tomorrow and we have a Hemingway scholar joining us. I'm not sure if he'll be joining us for the live chat, but he's going to join our little pre prep meeting. So we have an amazing discussion, another month of reading and then eight shots up on Instagram could definitely do better here, but with all of the glam you guys saw we released this month, that I will definitely take eight. We had the best fall ever as far as design and you know content goes, so I'm excited about that. And then YouTube videos. Okay, we did 10 YouTube videos this month. That is an all-time high, I think, at least for for this generation of paper and glam. That is pretty darn good. That's like three a week. I hope you guys have been loving them. We've definitely been really putting a lot into them just from like concepts to making sure that the production is just beautiful and I couldn't be happier with that. And yeah, I hope you guys have just enjoyed all of the paper and glam that has come out. PNG TV. Okay, loving. Okay, I finally invested in earbuds and it was life changing. My bestie Becca said she was loving her earbuds and so I, you know, had to be just like her. I grabbed them, I'll link them below. But I don't know about you guys, but I love to listen to my podcast, which is mainly What Should I Read Next and the Swiftish podcast, or my books while I'm like doing dishes or laundry, when I'm puttering around the house basically. And it is a thousand times easier to like go grab a load of laundry when you have earbuds and you're wireless I was like I don't need those I'll just play it like into the room but then you have to remember to grab your phone and I can be weirdly frugal about certain things and it's funny how like I think nothing of spending like a hundred dollars on candles four times a year but then I will not get like something that's gonna make my life a million times easier such as earbuds so I would highly recommend them if you haven't invested in them yet. I wish I had done it sooner. I just love being able to go from room to room and not have to like pause what I'm listening to or grab my phone. And then sometimes you can't hear because Sunday's barking and I'll have to rewind it. So anyway, my favorite song this season is called Seasons, Hillsong Seasons. And it's just one of those songs that came to me at just the right time and feels like it was written just for me. And don't you just love when you have those songs? One of those comes to me about every month and I love that I can record those little memories in this format that's just like really easy and really manageable. So it is on the God and Glam playlist, which I will link down below. And I think my words to live by are actually gonna be lyrics from the song too. Eating. I don't really have a new eating like favorite food, but 
I will put marshmallow candy corn in this little box because it was just kind of a fun memory to have that apothecary jar you might have seen in the Halloween home tour filled with marshmallow candy corn. But I would love to know what you guys are eating and loving this month. I'm at one of those phases where I am tired of my kind of food routine. I need to get some new things into my repertoire. So I try to eat about 50% paleo. I know a lot of you are vegan and that's like the opposite of what you do, but <laughs> if you have any ideas, I would love to hear them. You guys are such a wealth of information. Drinking, you guys probably know, I've been drinking all of the Bones coffee. I am obsessed. I just got another order and I already drank all the coffee from the October Favorites video, <laughs> except for the K-Cups. Those are still hanging around because I'm trying not to drink coffee in the afternoon, but I drank all of those sample packs and just got five more. So a little sample pack bundle that they sell. And uh, I have a $5 off coupon for Bones Coffee if you would like to try it, but this is one of my favorite finds this year. And I, they have so many seasonal flavors. It's just bananas and I've already gone through and assigned them to months. I have this seasonal living spreadsheet where I keep like my master seasonal living list of just all the things I love every month and so I don't forget you know and um so I assigned all of their flavors to months and I can't wait to chit chat more with you about bones in the November seasonal living favorites video which is the video we are going to do next. And then for my books, like we talked about, I read two Anne Rice books. I also spent just a lot of time reading about her life and just like all the houses she's had and all the different places she's lived and just like looking at pictures and listening to interviews and stuff like that. So Anne Rice will go in my reading box. And then, you know, you could always list out like the books you've read, but it stresses me out trying to fit that in this small space. And I think I'm gonna start doing that in the back of my planner. I keep aspiring to do it, but I have a whole list in Excel that I will, well, Google Sheets that I think I'm gonna populate in the back of my planner just for memory purposes. Watching, I've been obsessed with Nashville. I know I'm the last person it feels like to watch this show. I really didn't watch a lot of TV at all. I was mainly just a reader. I actually just got cable this, actually was it last year? It's within, in the last year. So I really wasn't much of a TV watcher. Glamming is pretty much like what I would like to do um, at all times if possible. And that causes me other issues that we'll probably get to in learning. But um, so I haven't seen like so many shows. So every month I've been like binge watching a different show. So Nashville, I don't know how I haven't watched this yet because it's about country music, which if you guys know me, you know, I live for the Stagecoach Music Festival. I live for country music. My heart bleeds country music. So um, I can't believe I haven't watched it. So I know that it just finished. Their last season was, I think it just ended... I don't know, like within the last couple of months here, but all the episodes are on Hulu. So I am just going through season one now. And then Sunday has been watching Dog TV, which she loves. It is a subscription channel for dogs. It's $9.99 a month and she just loves it. I've talked about how Sunday is really, really high engagement, high energy, and this just gives her something to do when she's bored. So that's great. And then learning, I have been learning to make better <laughs> adrenal health choices. I have adrenal fatigue that I've had for the last year. Well, I've probably had it, you know, most of my life, but really bad the last year for a few reasons. But one of them is I pretty much live like eating and sleeping are optional. And uh, uh, mainly just because, like I said, I'd rather be doing glammy things that, that pretty much anything else. So I'd rather be making new stickers or playing with my planner or reading or, you know, doing all the things that we do here at Paper and Glamour, chit chatting with you guys. And so, yeah, I, I kind of burn the candle at both ends and I forget to eat and then it'll be like 4 p.m. and I haven't eaten and I've just had coffee, which is horrible for me and anyone. I don't do it on purpose. It's just like, you know, Nothing like being in your 30s and still figuring out how to like feed yourself, but that's real life. We all have our, <laughs> we all have our things, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's an easy fix though. So I've been trying to like set timers and do better with meal planning and all of that stuff. Okay, let's see, what's our next prompt? Celebrating. 
Actually, first let's do planning because I'm already afraid I'm gonna like smear. So planning, we've been planning for a Glam New Year of Book Club. So this month I finalized the titles for Book Club and they're not out yet. Uh, the Book Club kit is available for pre-order, but I <laughs> blanked out the titles in the this in the listing shot. So sneaky, sneaky, I know. Um, so we invited four new members to our book club. So I'm really excited to our book chatting, um, live chatters. So that's going to be amazing. We introduced them really briefly in the October chat. And then when we kind of officially kick off the 2019 Glam New Year, we'll, we'll introduce everybody again. But it was really exciting to get a fresh crew for book club and also we started our little prep meeting so i am getting the questions up earlier and just leveraging some accountability to get stuff done so i'm not waiting till the last minute to do book club which i've been done for the last three years so <laughs> you know sometimes you just have to set yourself up to win and when i find myself like making the same mistake over and over and over again I realize how could i set myself up to win i need to rig the game in my favor so wearing I have been obsessed with a boutique here in LA. There's three locations. I go to the one right by my house, but it's within walking distance and it's like all lined up with my favorite coffee shops and restaurants and like where I do Pilates. So it's kind of kryptonite, but it is called Shopaholic Sample Sales if you are visiting in LA. Pretty much the only place I shop now and I'm completely obsessed with Tina, who's the buyer. Oh my gosh, I can't even begin. I could spend all my time and all my money in there. And I'm not someone who really likes clothes shopping. Like I do very little clothes shopping. If I stumble across something that's like seasonal perfection, I'll grab it. But you know, I'm all about the books and the paper things and the candles. So um, I can kind of take away, take or leave clothes. And I usually add like, one thing to my wardrobe every month though and it's usually like a seasonal thing like this month I added that really cute wild fox bodysuit to my my wardrobe for October I have like a capsule wardrobe for every month I'm a huge nerd and I'm excited for November because it's like I get a whole new wardrobe every month <laughs> anyway so if you're visiting LA definitely stop by shopaholic sample sales from now on I'm pretty much just stopping there they totally get me in my style and just pull all the things for me so I don't even have to look through the racks they like literally help you try stuff on like so you don't have to struggle with zippers and ugh, it's basically shopping heaven and then I just get my staples like my rag and bone jeans and stuff that I you know can't live without that's just like your basics your jeans your shorts stuff like that from Nordstrom and I am set praying I am praying for my sweet dog, Daisy, she lives in Napa. I rescued her in 2008 and she, as a puppy, she ended up having bone cancer. So my mom took her because she needed some care. She needed a surgery and some care of it. I couldn't give her at the time. So um, yeah, my, she's lived with my mom in Napa, but she has horrible allergies and allergies are like immune confusion. So she has some immune system issues from a metal leg she has because you know she had bone cancer and it couldn't heal. So we had to put a metal leg in her and she's had a happy, healthy life. She's 10, but she um, had to be on Apoquel for her allergies because she was literally chewing holes in herself and we didn't have any other option because you know we don't want her to suffer. But just like for people, medicine for doggies is, or medicine, quote unquote, is basically poison. So um, she's just having all these issues due to uh, this horrible drug called Apoquel. It's a lifesaver if your dog has allergies, except that it's literally poison. So we felt like it was the lesser of two evils, but now it's there's a ton of side effects and yeah, it's pretty awful. So if your dog's on it, you might want to look into it more. I wish we had, um, but yeah. Savoring, let's see, I guess I'm just gonna say, I don't really, let's see, there's so many things to savor. It's hard to pick like one, especially during this season. Um, I'm just gonna say baking pumpkin bread. That was a really nice memory that I want to memorialize. It's just like such a seasonal sensory experience, baking pumpkin bread. It's like the scent wafts through your kitchen and it's like in your home the whole day and it's just like the most homey activity to set the scene for for fall. 
Okay, last memory prompt, celebrating. And I am celebrating something that you also might be celebrating, and that is the 25th anniversary of Hocus Pocus. And I didn't plan accordingly, so anniversary isn't gonna fit, so. I'll just put 25th of Hocus Pocus and I'll know exactly what that means. I had so much fun watching the Hocus Pocus 25th anniversary bash. That was a blast and uh, I know that a lot of you watched it on Freeform which I just learned what that is. I did not know that was like the new ABC slash Disney family channel. I didn't even know they rebranded it and so many of you have sent me stuff about Freeform and I'm like what is this Freeform? So Finally, Ashley, who's amazing and she's on our design team, she was like, oh, it's just the new ABC family and the light bulb went off and I even get the channel. I was all excited. You guys teach me everything. It's such why this community is so much fun. We all just get to learn all these seasonal glammy things we didn't even know about. I could have just turned on my TV and seen like a 31 days of Halloween and all that good stuff, just like I did when I was a kid. So the 25th anniversary party was so much fun and uh, I just loved watching the movie and like the pop and knowledge version. And you'll have to let me know if you watched it too. Oh, Hocus Pocus. There's nothing like Hocus Pocus. It's just like everything that I love about Glamoween in one movie. So my words to live by comes actually from, I was going to do Hillsong Seasons, but I just like would want to copy the whole song. So I think my words to live by is going to come from the Tony Robbins documentary that is on Netflix if you want to watch it. And I just don't know a ton about him, but I really appreciate just how much, how she just lays down some awesome pep talks and that's harder to do than it looks. So I'm going to write it out and then we'll talk about it because I cannot talk and write at the same time, especially not quotes. Okay, this is a little funny thing that I do that might help you guys out. So first, you may have seen this. I create a little memory prompt note so that I can add things to it, like when I'm in traffic or sitting in line for groceries or whatever. You know, living in LA has a lot of waiting. <laughs> don't move to LA if you don't love waiting because it's, it's that. It's kind of like being in line at Disneyland all the time. So anyway, I like to kind of see how I'm gonna write the quote. So I had under an estimate on two different lines on accident. And so I totally didn't plan accordingly for how this was going to fit here. So that might help if you are trying to fit something somewhere. I like to kind of lay it out and see how much room I'm gonna need so this doesn't happen, but it only works if you don't create a typo. <laughs> okay, this is my quote for the month. People overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in a decade. And I thought this was a really timely quote as we start thinking about how we want our next year to look, how we want our 2019 to look. And I realized that I really need to start planning for the next decade, not just the next year. I need to think about how I want the next decade to look and how I need to live today for that next decade to you know, rise up. So I feel like I almost want to make like a nerdy 10 year plan and start thinking about um, kind of my goals for each piece of my life in that light. And we just released a really cool glam goals uh, planning uh, sticker sheet. And I almost want to write those out for like the next 10 years and take a more of a long, long range view than I have in the past. Um, I have a really clear vision for what I want Paper and Glam to look like, like every year, but I need to do the same for my personal life because I am a workaholic and it's easier, it's really easy to overdo when, you know, you're doing something that you love and something that just brings so much joy. So anyway, I hope that little tidbit helps you as you start thinking about your goals this month and as we look forward to 2019. And yeah, I this is just definitely true for me. I always overestimate how far I'm gonna get in a year. But you know, then when I look at how far we've come the last four years, and those of you who have been with me the last four years can know what I'm talking about. You know, it's like earth to the moon difference. So Anyway, I think that's a wrap on our October memories. Here's the full layout one more time, and I hope this inspires you to record some of your memories every month. All right, that is a wrap on a very glam October. I hope you guys had just the best month. So let's move on to housekeeping, and there is lots of housekeeping. So 
If you were hanging out on our Facebook group on Glamoween, then you know it was a very, very glam Halloween. We released the entire Christmas, New Year, winter collection. All of it is live, and I'm so excited to send it home to you. If you were hoping to jump in for December and subscribe for Glam Mail, I would hop to it run not walk there's about 50 spots left in total and i would just love to send hot pink mailers home to you every month so lots of fun in the shop if you click on new arrivals you will see everything we released there's a beautiful glam new year kit a lot of you said that's your favorite kit that we've done so far and i'm really excited about that because i think we spent the longest on that kit it's just very dynamic it's got lots of depth and I hope it inspires you. We released a goal setting sticker set, which we talked about a little bit in this video. Oh my gosh, so much. I mean, I think, yeah, it's double last year like we've talked about, and I'm just so excited to hear your thoughts about it. And if you have checked out and you know what you're getting for your Glam New Year, I'd love to hear in the comments below. And I hope this early release gives you an opportunity to see what you would like to work into your planning routine for 2019. We also released our four planners for pre-order as well as our God and Glam Bible study. So, so much to come and uh, yeah i think that's it for this video oh one more thing we have been glamming so hard on pinterest lately so we have made pinterest our paper and glam hub so you will find tons of planning inspiration from all over the community as well as layouts that i've done which you might have seen on instagram we have tons of plan with me videos both mine and those in the community we have all of our products up and it's a cool place to see all of the inspiration and all of the products for each collection in one place so there's a board for glamween and a board for christmas a board for glam new year so it's a uh, kind of a quick check-in if you want to see like stickers right up against you know how you might want to use them it has stuff from previous years and i really think that's going to be a very fun planning resource for you so if you check it out let me know i'd also love to know in the comments and with that i will go get to packing up some hot pink mailers for you thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with me lots of glam november to come october's over but that just means we're going to roll over into a glam november so i'll be back with you again soon please remember to give this video a thumbs up on your way out can't wait to chat with you in the comments